ionizing radiation. When people hear this, they think disaster, cancer, death. But actually, this kind of radiation is all around us. X-rays, gamma rays, alpha and beta particles, they are all forms of ionizing radiation, but they can be found everywhere, from at your dentist to your hospital, or even in your own home in the form of smoke detectors. Fortunately, the doses of radiation we experience every day is small and it decreases significantly the further away we are from the source. Here, I have a radioactive source, titanium-44, and I'm going to measure it with this Geiger counter. Starting with the radiation source five centimeters from the detector, we're going to record the number of counts of radiation we get per second. Let's repeat for five centimeter increments. After obtaining a range of distance measurements, we can make a plot of distance versus one over count rate. This is the time for one count. Note that the shape of the graph is exponential. The further away the Geiger counter is from the source, the longer it takes for one detection. Now, since radiation follows the inverse square law, the source can be seen as radiating out as a sphere. And the surface of the sphere expands out as four times pi times distance squared. And that means the radiation decreases by an amount proportional to this. If instead we plot distance squared against inverse count rate, we get a straight line. This means that if we quadruple the distance, the time for one detected count doubles. And if the distance is increased by nine, then the time increases by a factor of three. The full equation, so that we can measure the intensity at any distance from the source, requires two constants. K is given by the gradient of the line and I0, the initial intensity, is given by the inverse count rate at zero centimetres from the source. This is true for any type of radiation that radiates spherically. Cosmic rays are another kind of ionising radiation, and they pass through us every day, originating from outer space. We can see the remnants of the interaction between cosmic rays and the atmosphere here in this spark chamber. And using a cloud chamber like this one, we can see any kind of ionizing radiation. These paths of smoke are created by alpha and beta particles emitted by this thorium rod, which is a radioactive source. In my research, I detect X-ray radiation from giant cosmic structures known as galaxy clusters and use them to determine how hot these cosmic structures are.